we have a study on bipolar children and in fact what's what unique about our study is that the children were sent to us possibly because they were thought that possibly have schizophrenia when we met them this was a group of children who were very impulsive they occasionally had very brief signs like hearing voices or seeing things but it was very brief five minutes a month and they their thinking was clear and they related to people in a very ordinary way and this group of children we followed because we wanted to make sure that we had turned them down from our study correctly so we saw them every two years over about a ten-year period and so because of this and to our surprise about half of this group we were following became classic bipolar cases and so we have their brain development at the same time that we had the children with schizophrenia and they had a much more subtle kind of abnormalities in the brain and um, they were taking very similar medications to the schizophrenic children so you always worry that it could something be the result of a treatment for a disorder could for example anything abnormal that you see in the brain scan be because of the drug someone is on and not because of their illness but since they were on the same drugs we're pretty sure that this is because they had a different diagnosis and it's more subtle it was more on one side of the brain than the other the abnormalities and much much less marked than what you saw with the schizophrenics it was not a large group however and we haven't pursued this